All right, good morning guys. Mr. Bruce Wayne and I are gonna take you through his day. And it's not a typical day. It's gonna be hot out. It's the weekend and it's about 7.30 a.m. Typically I get up and go straight to the gym and since gyms aren't open, I go straight to the basement to work out. But today, he needs to get in some exercise before it gets too hot because I need to be careful with him. So we're gonna go do some sprints. So here's the hill for sprints. The big dude's over there going pee. He's probably going to try to pee on everything. You're in blast, bro. Bruce, let's go. Fun fact, he gets so tired when we do videos. Not so much this kind, um, but videos when we're sitting there at home because he has to sit there, he has to stay. So a lot of times he's got to concentrate and focus because I'm having him do certain commands. I have him sitting here right now, so therefore, He's got to pay attention. He's got to listen. So a lot of these times we do videos, he's actually doing drill work as well. Right, buddy? Right? Call him over, have him sit down, have him stay. And he's got to sit there and focus. So we're just going to do sprints up this hill right now to start the morning. It's already hot out, but luckily this is in the shade. It's humid. This is not going to be fun. I do not want to do cardio, bro. Why are you making me do cardio? Can't have you do it alone, though. Let me get set up. Stay. Bruce, let's go. It sucks to have to do this with him when you do not want to do cardio. I have him on a leash going down because I don't want him to sprint down the hill, bottom out, and put a lot of pressure on his joints. So I just really careful. All right, this is the third and probably probably final sprint. I don't want to overdo it on him because it's so hot and humid already. Bruce, let's go! Come on, get it! Get it, get it, get it! Come on! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Oh yeah! You good boy! You good boy! You good boy! Yeah! And now to start the day! It doesn't look that steep in the bottom. It's wicked steep. And that last like 10 feet, it's, that last it's like, there. holy crap, I'm dying. Just when you're like, yeah, walk up there, I'm like, okay. And I'm like, oh, I'm puffing just walking up it. I should have went and just walked up and down while you guys did it, but I didn't want to be a distraction since you're going to film. Putting him on play. <laughs> He's officially toast, guys. Alright, me and the lady are gonna go work out and let Bruce rest. <laughs> 
before he eats. Which he may not even eat because he's been eating weird. He's been eating one time a day. And his, what did he eat last night? Four and a half pounds? Yeah. Four and a half pounds at once. Um, skipped his breakfast, but ate four and a half pounds at night. So that makes it when it's when he does that, it makes it difficult to try to get him to eat two times a day because of the fact that he's full from the night before. So basically the only way to do it is at night to literally just feed him like his night portion of food. But because he's been so active lately, I didn't want to underfeed him. Um, he gets extra aggressive when he's hungry. It's weird, like when he plays, he plays harder. Like almost mean. He has, he has zero patience. So it's 10, 11. I'm gonna try to feed Bruce breakfast right now. I don't know if he's gonna eat because of the fact he ate four and a half pounds last night. What time did he eat dinner last night? So we ate dinner at like 7.30 last night. So odds are he may not eat and I'm kind of piecing things together. I like to get everything organic grass fed from the farmer, but unfortunately she's been very short on meats. So I'm piecemealing the farmer food together with grocery store food. Right now the only grocery store food I think I'm gonna be giving him is ground beef. And then I have a duck egg. Duck eggs are huge. I have big hands. That is a gigantic egg. So he's gonna get that. He's going to get his, I'm gonna give him his entire organ portion for the day for breakfast. So here's some uh, pork kidney and pork liver. And then I have defrosting for tonight. This is from the farmer, um, shoulder lamb chops, organic grass fed. And then they also gave me some ground chicken. I'm not a huge fan of chicken for dogs. Bruce doesn't do that awesome on it, but he seems to do okay if I give him the, the grass-fed organic chicken from the farmer. Grocery store chicken does not go over well with him. That's what I'm gonna give him right now. I'm gonna feed him two and a half pounds. I usually don't weigh the egg as part of his meal. I just kind of like break it up and put it in a bowl. And if you're wondering what's all over this plate, I just got done eating breakfast and I had a turkey burger and egg, so I usually will feed him off my plate. That way, there's some yummy remnants on the bottom that he loves. There's a little bit of sea salt, not enough where it's gonna hurt him whatsoever, um, and he likes the taste of it, but do not give your dogs salt, guys. It can cause salt toxicity. As I said, there's not much on here, so I'm fine giving it to him. He, that's how he typically eats his breakfast, and he's got Steve right here, ready to play. What's up, dude? We've already played a ton. No, I, you've got to eat. I, he ain't gonna eat. He wants to play with Steve. That's his um, come play with me spot. And that's him inviting me over. I'm also gonna feed him some grocery store ground turkey. Um, Cause I don't want to have two and a half pounds of ground beef. It's pretty high in fat. And then I defrosted a marrow bone, and I'm gonna pull out this marrow and put it on top of his food as well. I think it's gigantic. Oh my god. And I'm gonna give him the shell. Sometimes he eats it, sometimes he doesn't. It's actually really good for him. This is what his breakfast looks like. Two and a half pounds, not counting the egg. And don't take this recipe and give it to your dog every day because there's a lot of nutrients missing in here, but it's all I have tonight and <sighs> he's got Steve still. <laughs> so I go for balance over the week, you know? Um, so again, don't take this recipe and, and copy it exactly because your dog will end up being nutrient deficient over the long run and he may not eat it. Or he may eat it. <laughs> Steve was dropped. <laughs> well, he cleaned up shop, surprisingly. Egg show and all. Now time to do cleanup. If you guys are looking for info on Raw, check out the link in the description. There's a course down there which will give you everything you need to know about Raw, what to feed your dog, how to transition your dog to Raw, the do's and don'ts, everything. We got you covered. Check that out. Save 10% if you use code Jason. And then also we have the puppy training course, we have the canine boot camp, and we have the ultimate Conde Corsa course, which is a bundle of everything and a course specifically on Kanye Corsos. Apparently it's playtime again. It's always playtime if it's up to Bruce. It's never enough. He always wants more. Sometimes he just wants to set things on you though and chew it. Ooh, this tail is a, that's a wet tip. 
It's a very wet tip. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one with the jokes, guys. <laughs> so I thought it might be fun to discuss if Kane Corsos would make a good emotional support dog. And it may surprise you my thoughts, actually. Kara and I have been discussing it. And at first I was like, of course, they're so good. He makes me so happy. He's so like loving to me. But on the same note, they, I'm trying to make sure I don't get my teeth knocked out by his head. Right. <laughs> um, especially how he's whipping that thing. He literally just sat out in the sun for like 30 minutes roasting. <laughs> he did, like a little piggy. Then I started thinking about it and Kane Corsos are so, so connected to their people. Like so connected where I feel like they really feed off. I mean, every dog feeds off your energy, but Kane Corso is just like, I feel like extra feed off your energy. See, and I was going to say, I thought they would be good support, do emotional support dogs because he like Bruce is just so in tune with our emotions and how we feel like he knows when something's wrong. Like he knows when Jason's not feeling good, like he's extra kind of like looking for direction from him and he's just almost ultra protective too in those Even situations. At, yeah, he was, he's been like barking at Kara when I've been laying down with him. Like she comes over and he starts barking at her. Like stares at her and starts right. barking. It's like, why are you barking at her like you want her to stay away? Kara also just mentioning, we, ne we hardly, we don't fight a lot, but we did have a fight like a month ago and she was saying how Bruce just stood there and yeah he he didn't panic or freak he just kind of stood there and stared at us he didn't like and we were yelling a little he bit didn't, he didn't get intrusive like he didn't even like try to like <laughs> not intrusive at all he, <laughs> hey buddy hey uh, bud he was not like this at all he literally hey, buddy. <laughs> he stood back personal space <laughs> he like stood back and just watched us like that and he didn't do anything and then he yeah. laid down and afterwards when like things were good and everything he just kind of like seemed like concerned but he didn't you know what i mean like he, he, he was very he, aware he, he didn't of, panic he was very aware of like the emotions that were occurring and it seemed like he handled it well but I don't know, I guess I don't know everything that's involved with having an emotional and, and the thing dog, is, if you're talking about someone with like PTSD, like severe PTSD, maybe somebody's waking up in the middle of the night, freaking out, screaming, crying, like, I personally feel like the dog would freak out, like when it's on that level. Yeah. I feel like because they're so attached to you and they feel, feed off your energy so much, I really feel like they may not be the best emotional support dog. Now, if you just have like loneliness, some anxiety, cause you're like sitting there alone at home all the time, that's a completely different story. But for like a serious emotional, like that has a really, really serious issue. I don't know if they'd be the best. <laughs> he thought my arm was, no, my forearm was the dinosaur or the alligator tail for a second. He's like, oh, wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> Good thing he's gentle. But like when you need him though, like if you were just bumming and you're upset mm -hmm. and depressed, if you're like, come here, dude, he will jump in bed with you and cuddle you so hard. Yes. Like that, just that, that human being that like almost just like a weighted blanket. Like he's like a weighted blanket. He is. So like he'll just lay on top of you and he'll give you that love and he's not finicky and he's not annoying. He just like gives you the love that you need. So. I don't know. In some ways, I do feel like it de I guess it would depend on what your need is for an emotional. Yes, I, I think that's a big thing. What, what's the, your need? What's the severity of the case? Because I feel like he fulfills things that I need emotionally. Yes, you feel like you birthed him. <laughs> I do, and like sometimes if you don't want to cuddle me, like I know he's down for it. <laughs> <laughs> he's always down to Why cuddle. Why is he sniffing your wiener? He's not. He's sniffing the um, the alligator which you put in my lap. <laughs> So in a little bit here, Kara's taking big guy. Look at the family picture right there. Aww. <laughs> Do you know how many people think I Photoshop his head? He doesn't. Oh. It's like. Oh, I just got hit. Hit with spit. I just got hit with spit. So she's gonna take him outside and play with him since I played with him a bunch already today. This doesn't really count as his playtime. I think he's in poop, dude. I gotta, I gotta beep that out. This is a family channel here. Sorry. <laughs> Don't come to my channel then. Care Corey Fitlife. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> She's got a trucker Wait, mouth on her. Can I plug my stuff in your videos? Of course you can plug loud? my stuff. Your stuff. Just the tip. The idiotiest bittiest tip is coming out right now. It's the tiniest little tip. I always put Bruce on blast and Bruce does not appreciate it. Just the tiniest little tip touching his ankle. That means he's feeling good, you guys. <laughs> means he is happy. Look at how happy he is with mama. Why are you such a happy boy? That is some hot breath. I know. <laughs> Don't is he gonna like eat your like, face? He looked like he was gonna. You wanna eat or me? You not there yet? Thumbs up if you could just sit here for 30 minutes and just watch Kara pet Bruce. Mm -hmm. Ask the people if they want an ASMR video of me and Bruce. Yeah, do you guys want an ASMR Kara and Bruce video? Sometimes I hand him his alligator. He eats it and then he swings it around. <laughs> it's a really fun time. Oh <laughs> 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 Morning, afternoon, I take care of big dude. And at night, she takes care of big dude. So she's about to feed him now and she was just playing with him. And we do that because everyone in the house needs to take care of the dog. Yes. And we learned this with our last dog, our English Bulldog when we first had him, was being a jerk to he, her. He was he, acting like he owned me. Yeah, he was responding very well to me. And like, I would never see, I'd come home from work and she'd be almost in tears because the dog was just being so bad and so mean to her, yeah, like legit like he mean. Hated me. And um, I'm like, it's because I'm taking care of him all the time. You're not taking enough care of him. Like I'm feeding him breakfast and dinner. I'm like, just you were taking him out to go poop. You know, he I, had to walk him around outside and stuff. Like I really wasn't doing anything for him because I don't know. Because you were working in school, yeah. and I was just working. Right, right. <laughs> and I'm like, you need to just start taking care of him more, you know, start feeding him, start playing with him. Mm -hmm. And he was like right away almost within two weeks. It was very quick. It was crazy what a difference that made. Yep. It was like immediately like, holy crap, that's it. Yeah. So, and I'm glad we learned it with the English Bulldog. Not the 150 pound Bruce Wayne. Right. So that's typically how it works is I'll just do all his needs in the morning. She'll do all his needs at night. And then, as a family, we just get in the couch and hang out together, making him the happiest. And what's he getting right now, Kara? Uh, some uh, organic ground chicken. Organic ground chicken. He already had all of his organ meats today. Yep. I'm giving him this whole thing because he doesn't like the consistency of it when it starts to get sloppy. Like, he likes it better when it's, like, still... Semi-frozen. Semi-frozen, so that's why I'm giving him the whole bag of it tonight. So that's one point. 1.2 pounds. We've got some ground beef here, and then I'll probably cut him up this shoulder lamb chops, throw that on there too, and that'll probably be it for his dinner tonight. Yeah. Maybe some sardines? Some sardines. We'll give him some sardines. Yeah. And uh, we give Bruce a, a joint supplement daily. We give him that. We've always given our dogs joint supplements, our last two dogs. We've both had dogs our whole life. I have uh, to wash my hands before I open the cupboard. But her dog ownership before me was just like, 
a family dog, so she didn't really do much with it. No, we got our golden retriever when I was in fourth grade, so. so. So we had, he's our second dog together. First was the English Bulldog, which he always wanted, named Winston, who we missed dearly. Winston. He's right there. That is a good looking bulldog, too. There's they Winston. Have a history of having good looking dogs. And who's that pretty girl with that scrub? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed something different today. Vlog style with Bruce Wayne. Day in the life of Bruce. Bruce enjoyed it. <laughs> He's got a pretty good life, if I do say so myself. He does. He's got a pretty awesome life, I must say. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Do all the things. Subscribe, like, ring the ding-a-lings, and we'll see you next time. Peace.